Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create interesting shapes or text to put images in. So we have a shape like this. We have this cloud and it looks like it's separated out. Uh, this end cloud portion and we have a picture of a jellyfish in there. This is actually not that hard to create. The next example I here have is text where I've kind of uh, morphed the text into something else. This is actually text that we can find. It's Rockwell Extra in PowerPoint. But I've pulled some of the points of the text down here, so it looks like it's drooping down. So I'll show you how to create that, and then you can also put images behind all that text. So let's see how we do it. Let me create two new slides. I'll go ahead and go into Home and click New Slide and then New Slide. And on this first one, I'm going to create this first image here. So in this particular slide, there are images that we can put in there under Shapes. We'll put this uh, cloud shape here. If I go under here and go under the basic shape, I have a cloud shape here. So I'm going to take that cloud and draw it out a little bit. Right? I'm going to draw it out, make it a little bit thin, kind of put this out here. So now I'm going to create that effect where we're splitting this cloud in half and having those rectangular blocks uh, be a part of that cloud. I need to take a shape, and this is going to be a square shape, and cut it. I have the cloud selected. So the formatting ribbon tool is available to me. Under the insert shapes, I'm going to take this square shape or this rectangle shape and make a shape here. And I'm going to rotate a little bit. Let's see, let's rotate a little bit. Now I'm going to cover a portion of this particular cloud. Let me pull this out here so it covers that cloud. So I have this half here and I'm going to get another half. But before I do that, let's make a duplicate of this. I'm going to go outside here and select this slide, press Control D, and now that slide is duplicate. I'm going to create uh, the other, the inverse of it. I want to have that other part of the cloud be available, but I'm going to work on this one first, the left half. So with these two selected, I'm going to select this, and I'm going to select this square, and under the formatting tool, I'm going to select under, let's see, I'm going to click select subtract. So it's going to subtract that portion of it. Now I want to get the other part here. Let me actually make one more copy. Control, let me select this particular slide out here. Control D and make one more copy. So now I want to get the other part now. So I'm going to select this and that. Go into format. Let's see merge shape. I think it's going to be intersect. And that's going to be that half. So now I've got these two halves. I'm going to take this half and bring it up over here. Control C to uh, Control X to cut. Go to slide three, control V to paste. So now I've got both of them. I want to spread it out a little bit now. Let me pull this out over here, right? And I want to get this square now. I'm going to take this square. Oh, I typed the letter H. Let me go and remove that. Let me just take a copy of this, control C to copy, and go up here, control V to paste, and make my size smaller now. Let me make my size smaller. Let's see if it fits up here. Let me move this over here and make this a little bit thinner and that should be okay. Now all I need to do is make copies of this. I'll just press Control D to make a copy of that, pull it over here, Control D to make another copy, pull it over here and I'll just move, make, move this in place so it looks a little bit more congruent. Now all I need to do is select all of it. I can draw it out, draw, go on the outside and draw it out and you can see they're all selected and I could group it. I'll press Control G to group. Now it's all one image. Now I can add a picture behind there. Right click, go under Format Shapes, and then select Fill Picture, and I can choose one. Oh, this is already chosen for me. Maybe let's, let's try another one. Maybe we'll try the, the tulips and click Insert, and now I've got a bunch of tulips there. So that's how we can create a, some interesting shapes and put some pictures behind there. So how do we do that with text? Let me go and select this new slide here. I'm going to insert a text box and draw it out here and type caps rock on, right? And make this a little bit bigger. Let's try to make this one. Let me select this and the size. Let me type 100. Let's see how that fits. 100 is not enough. Let me make it a little bit bigger, maybe 173. So it looks like 173 is fine. I'm going to go and pick the Rockwell font because it looks like it's more easy to 
play with that a little bit. So let me scroll down here and click on the Rockwell. I think it was the Rockwell Extra Bold. Let me increase the size here. Maybe 173 was too big. Let me select this and decrease the size. That looks okay. So we'll choose that one. Now what I want to do, let me close this for now. What I want to do is I want to make sure that this particular set of uh, letters are able to have an image all behind them. What you notice if I try to put an image now, if I right click and go under format shape and I tried to put an image back there, it's going to put it back on the square or the area where the text is. I don't want to do that. I want to make it within the different letters. Let me control Z to undo this. And what I can do now is I can did what I did at first where I select another image and I'm going to go and insert a square rectangle here over it. And let me bring this uh, to the back. So I'm going to right click that rectangle I just inserted and send it to the back, right? So I can see the letter in the front. I need to select the both images or both areas where they're holding these objects. This text object, which says rock on, and this square object. So let me make this a little bit smaller. Make that smaller. Select out here and just select everything. And you can see it selected the square or this rectangle and then also selected the rectangular text area. Under format, go to merge shapes, and then I'm going to select intersect, right? Now what it's done is it's combined them both together, but it's combined the intersection of them. If you notice now, I have the ability to edit this shape too. So let me click on that and click on edit shape points. You can see all these little points here where I can edit the shape now. So I can pull this down. I can pull this part down. Let me pull this one down here. And maybe that was a little too much. Control Z to undo. And let me maybe I'll pull that part there. No, control Z undo. Let me try this area, this one over here. Let's see if that works. And that's okay. Let me pull this one over here, this one, let me pull down over here, pull that down, pull this one down, and do it up for the end, and this end. And now you'll notice that if I select my image here, right click and go into format shape and select the fill, now I have the whole area to fill that if within the letters. So I'm going to click File. Let me put those rocks back on there, this desert rock. And I have this available to me. Let me increase the size here of the my text box here. And you can see that the image comes across each of the letters, not the whole thing, not the text, not the box that houses the uh, letters, but it is just the letters themselves. So that's how we can put pictures behind letters. And at the same time, we can also adjust the letters to give them an interesting shape, not just the default way that it came in. We can actually manage some of the end, some of the points, the edit points of the shape to give it some kind of interesting design. So that's how you can create some in interesting shapes or text where you can put images inside of. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.